All right, so I need to do a follow-up video on about this. On my other video, I told you know about what I like, what I, what I didn't like. This this decompression valve here. Um, right after I got done with the video, I realized that the top pin was gone. So I pulled the thing out, and this is what I ended up with. Right, there's no top pin. There's no bottom. There's nothing here. So I knew something fell inside. I didn't realize it was this big. But something fell inside. This is the part that goes down here for the decompression. So my top popped off this. And then this fell down inside the carburetor. And got to where I couldn't even pull on the rope. Um, I can kind of tinker and fix things. And I wasn't sure about that. And since I wanted to make sure this thing works, I took it in to get it fixed. Cost 150 bucks, but I learned quite a few things. Um, one, that there are flanges out there that are made over with this top part that is actually flanges out. So this would basically serve something like this on the other end. If that top piece came out, this wouldn't drop all the way through. So this couldn't drop inside. So I don't know if this one does or not. This is from my Husqvarna. I pulled this one off and I put it on here and then I took it in to get it fixed. Um, the guy did tell me that still makes theirs that do that, that have that flange on top. So if the ones I ordered off of Amazon don't have that, um, I'm probably going to order a couple of those. Another thing he told me too is that this down here, and you can see, I can see where he filed. This was starting to kind of like roll because I'm, I'm not apparently not getting oil. Apparently when you put this like this, the oil has a tendency just to drop right by. Well, I looked at my oil sleeve and it's right on this. So I don't know, maybe I need to get one of those attachments and put on it and uh the oil attachment and then do something you know back down on this end so it's coming through a little more because he said what it'll eventually do is it'll wear this out where it's as wide as the link and then the chain then the bar is shot so i'm glad i went in and talked to the guy um he told me there's an oil adjuster on the bottom down under here i found mine mine's full open so i can't open it anymore but it does look like oil's getting on it i just got to uh figure out a few things so lessons are being learned daily with this new project